Hello my friends and welcome back to Fishing Planet. Uh, it is a day, what a day. Here in North Carolina the pollen counts are so high you wouldn't believe the state that my eyes, my nose, and my throat is in. And then on top of all of that I've come in to look at the uh, uh, recently released St. Patrick's Day stuff going on and have made kind of a distressing discovery. Um, if we go and we look at our missions here for our St. Patrick's Day stuff, um, we've got Golden Horseshoe, which uh, basically we ha it is a quest in order to get the Golden Horseshoe Stringer. Nothing can hold off the nasty snakeheads like the golden horseshoe stringer made by ancient craftspeople. Try to assemble it and clear the waters of these pests. Go to Emerald, Tiber, uh, Tiber St. Croix, San Joaquin, Sander Baggersy, Blue Crab, Maku Maku, Maron, Amazon Maze that holds festive boat races. Win them and earn parts of the gold horseshoe stringer. Also obtain clover coins to pay leprechauns for string or repair. So at this point, I don't know if we can just go to Emerald Lake, compete in the boat race repeatedly to earn our 77 golden horseshoe parts and our 88 clover coins, or if we actually have to do this on each of these water bodies. And if that's the case, most of these water bodies are way beyond us at this point. We have not unlocked Tiber, St. Croix, San Joaquin's, uh, blue Crab, Maku Maku, Maroon, Amazon Maze. So I just don't know, and I guess I won't know until I go in and I try. Um, the expulsion of the snakeheads, which uh, the whole shtick here is that St. Patrick is said to have driven all the snakes out of Ireland. And so in honor of that, we are going to drive all of the snakeheads out of Fishing Planet. Um, more and more folks are complaining about the nasty snakeheads who force out other species from waterways in different regions. This world needs a new hero. Arm yourself with the Golden Horseshoe Stringer from the last mission. Um, set off in search of snakeheads and bring order to the fishing ecosystem of your favorite waterways. And then again, it lists a bunch of waterways, and many of them are waterways we have not yet unlocked at level 16. But what we'll notice is that um, it wants us to catch a certain number of snakeheads with different special lures that are part of the whole uh, you know situation going on here right so uh, popper pint one ounce um, frog popper rainbow jump Irish crayfish Irish bass jig etc etc right well then we come here and we look at um, in search of lucky horseshoe one and basically this tells us how we get to those special lures um, by earning clover coins we can go to a unit on the beach that looks like this up here in, by the title and when we trade it at that particular water body the correct number of clover coins it gives us that particular bait so for instance at mud water we go up to the the horseshoe we give it two clover coins and it'll give us the irish crayfish so again these things being available are in Everglades and Tiber and Quanchkin and St. Croix and Sander Bagasy, places that are not yet unlocked, right? Um, in Search of Lucky Horseshoe, this is um, to get the special items, the Lucky Charm Bait Catapult, the Leprechaun Chest, which I'm sure is a tackle box, uh, the Triskel Rod Stand, the Kayak Irish Rover, and uh, the Song of St. Patrick, uh, motorboat and these are again at Maku Maku, Maron and, and Amazonian Maze, Blue Crab, Weeping Willow things we have not unlocked. Um, a Leprechaun's Favor which is a start on this whole thing is going to Mudwater which we of course have unlocked and catching four Rowdy Bass, four Leprechaun Fish and then going to Les Nivea to pick up um, two Leprechaun Fish. So for someone like me who's level 16, the majority of these things are simply out of reach. Well, this is Fishing Planet, and so we know that if we go to Premium and we go to Event Packs, what we'll find is we'll find an Event Pack that overcomes this. So here's the Green Fortune Pack for $16. 
Seven days of premium, some bait coins, some credits, a casting rod, a spinning rod, a casting reel, a spinning reel, a three rod case, a trucker hat, a headlamp, 777 clover coins, some braid, but then here are all the special lures that are needed to catch the snakehead and fulfill the capacity to, to actually go and get the boat and whatever. And then in addition to there's the golden horseshoe stringer, um, some extra slots, but then basically seven day passes to all the lakes that are involved in this, uh, right? As well as the seven day um, advanced fishing licenses for all of those things. And so unless I am sorely mistaken here, have misconstrued something, what the situation basically is, is that I need to have either invested like 400 hours into the game to have gotten to the point where I can unlock Blue Crab Island, you know, and um, uh, Tiber River at level 20. Okay, so either I've got to have hundreds of hours into the game to have already unlocked these high-end maps or I have to spend $16 real money in order to get passes to these maps in order to fish these locations and complete the the whole St. Patrick's Day thing and get the top prize of that wonderful green boat. And that chaps my behind. I find that very disappointing that there's not uh, an equity between the the various aspects of the player base here all right so someone like me I mean I've been playing a fair number of hours now to get up to level 16 you know um, I've earned 21,000 in, in bucks and I've got 11 gold coins left over after you know buying a few bits and bobs and things like our uh, tackle box but ultimately if I'm playing a true no cash playthrough, this is all beyond my reach. I can, I, I'm sure it will have us complete the mud water thing and then maybe jump to the Naharan River for something because we see the shamrock marker there. But other than that, it, and Lesney Villa, it looks like no other part of it is going to be accessible to us. So. This is the reason why the title of my video is why I will not complete or why I cannot complete uh, St. Patrick's Day event 2023. Now, let don't lose hope here. Don't lose hope. Um, while I'm not willing to compromise my decision to not spend any, any cash on this because I wanted to show you guys how you can build up and you can really play the whole game without cash. Um, you know, I am gonna I am gonna fish mud water and see what we can do there. Um, you know, and Heron, I'm gonna go try the boat race on Emerald uh, to see how that all works itself out. Um, but I mean, as far as I know, we have to go to Emerald, pay three thousand dollars to go to Emerald, and then pay like a thousand or two thousand to rent a boat to do this race. So I I don't know. And I guess there's only one way to find out. All right, so I made the trip to Emerald Lake to check out the situation over there with the boat race. So here's the situation. So you're gonna pay 3,000 to travel to Emerald Lake. If you're gonna do any real fishing over there in order to defer your costs, you're gonna pay another 1,000 for a one-day advanced license. Then you're gonna have to pay another 3,000 to rent the motorboat in order to attempt to run the race. And then on top of that, in order to get to the pot of gold that should be on each one of these maps, you have to have a boat. There's no way for you to walk over to the pot of gold. So one way or another, whether it's the kayak and you just go over and get the pot of gold or you get the motorboat and actually attempt to run the race, um, you're talking six to 7,000 just to go and do this. And then you can attempt the race once an hour. So, gotta say, it's just further indication that 
the way they've set this up this time is just not my thing, not my cup of tea. So I'm sorry to have had you come to watch a video that basically is nothing but me discussing why I think they dropped the ball on this particular event. But uh, in our next video, I will be going to the mud water and uh, attempting at least the first level of this stuff, you know, catching the the rowdy bass and the leprechaun fish at Mudwater and at uh, Lesney Vila. And Lesney Vila, I need to uh, catch a couple of fish to complete one of the Lesney Vila missions anyway, so it's worth going there. But I hope you're not too disappointed with this video, but I'll see you guys in the next one.